you must be tired. Sit down, Mrs. Pragya. Sit. Oh, yes, Pragya, you must be tired. Come, we will sit. Let her go. Now that's enough. Do you have a problem, Abby? Uh, actually, he's trying to tell me that I should take Pragya along with me. And you should stay here and enjoy the party. Stay here, excuse me. Yes, actually, that's what Abby meant. You should enjoy the party now. John, drinks please. Sorry. We have fought so much in the past that everything you say to me sounds like an insult. It's very odd. Do you understand? It's okay. Here, have a drink. No, Purab, I don't want to. Come on, Abby. It is my anniversary party. I don't want to drink anything. Come with me. I will make you something. Come on. Come with me, Abby. Let's go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah. Where's your drink, Mr. Singh? Ah. Take this one. It is a requirement for all guests to have something to drink at our parties. <laughs> Come on. Cheers. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you. Tanu, where are you going? I am going somewhere. I won't find Abby and Pragya together. I made a very big mistake. I mean, I shouldn't have invited Pragya here. Middle class people do not belong in a high class party like this. Hold on now. Who are the middle class people here? Pragya is King's wife now. She has a higher status than you do. Are you trying to make me feel jealous? No, I am only doing what you did to me, sweetheart. Hosting this party for Pura Bandisha was your idea. Even though you knew it would torture me. And did I object? Anna, you are totally used to seeing Purab and Disha together by now. I mean, you are strong. You've been seeing them together for the past seven years, but I, I can't stand to see Abby and Pragya together again. I lose my mind whenever I see them getting closer like that. And Abby, when Pragya was dancing with King earlier, Abby looked at Pragya in such a way that it seemed like he wanted to take her away from King. But that didn't happen. It can still happen. No, it won't. I will do something. Thank you so much, Alia. I know you are an expert at handling such situations. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I wish I could take a picture with King's wife as well. They look so good together. When they were dancing before. Hmm. I will go and serve them drinks. Come with me. Sit down. I am all right, Disha. No, I don't think that you are, Paragya. Of course I am not. If Abhi doesn't stop this behavior, everything will go wrong. But he should adapt according to the situation. But Paragya... What, Disha? Disha, I know that you lied when you said that Abhi asked you to take me with you. If you understand him so well, then you must know why he is behaving this way tonight. He gets jealous whenever he sees you with someone else. He got angry when he saw that you held someone else's hand. Listen, I, I'm not taking his side, Pragya, but I, I'm trying to reason with you. Forget about it. Let's just move on, please. And, and please, don't be angry with him. Tisha, it's not about me at all. It's about Mr. Singh. Hubby invited Mr. Singh to the party. If he can't respect him, then he shouldn't be disrespectful to him either. No, Abby. Did you hear what she just said? I have to... I have to go talk to her. Abhi, stop. Please listen to me. Don't stop me. I... Where is she? Abhi? Where did she go? <sighs> Abhi, I am sure that she's here. What is wrong with no, you? What is wrong with her? Why is she doing all this? I was glad that she came home to see everyone. I knew that everyone would be happy to see her. But she doesn't want any of us to be happy. That is why she is doing all of this, Purab. Please, Abhi, control yourself. If you can't control your feelings, then you should at least control your anger. Look, she might be busy doing the wrong thing, but you can't blame her for everything. Oh, yes, I can. I can blame her for everything, Purab. And I want to talk to her. Where is she? You will not talk to her. At least not today. Do you understand that? Listen up! No one is allowed to move.